Hey, what's up everybody? It's Franco here, and I'm back with another uh, Clash of Clans video today. And uh, today I'm on my second account, Franco Mac here, and uh, I want to show off a little bit of uh, some of the war attacks I've been doing, and uh, I, I haven't really shown much like progress update on this account, so uh, I don't even remember the last time what I showed. But uh, yeah, we're Town Hall 13, the Town Hall's going to level 4. Um, I still have like all the defenses left to upgrade and everything. I have been doing some walls, and uh, honestly I've been really full on loot like a lot of the time. And I don't really upgrade anything with gold right now other than the Town Hall itself and one defense. So I have been sinking a lot of gold into walls, and uh, my Dark Elixir has been full and everything. Um, I'm a bit, I'm on a bit of a trophy push on this account because I still haven't actually finished this, um, this super dragon challenge and there's 16 hours left, but I want to be able to buy this crater because I like to stack up all the cool special obstacles on this account and I haven't yet done it. <clears throat> and the best way to just like get these dragon medals is to win attacks. And with this account, it's pretty hard to win attacks. Like my... Um, offense is not that great. I'm literally using all wall breakers, uh, but I have been sticking true to uh, uh, just attacking the first guy I see on multiplayer because I don't want to waste my time just clicking through. And also, um, this account does take a while for the attacks because I literally have just the heroes as firepower. Um, but I have been hitting a trophy high. I think right now I actually might be at a trophy high, which is kind of cool. And it's like. One of the things that I do want to try to do with this account eventually is push to Legends League. That would be just like the ultimate goal, pushing to Legend League with all wall breakers. And I'm not saying that I'm going to try to push to Legend League, it's just been happening. So I've always been just at that silver uh, trophy range because it's like perfect for if you just want to like snipe off some storages or snipe off the town halls or get like easy attacks. And there's tons of loot down here too as Town Hall 13. Um, but it just happened to work out with this Super Dragon event that, like, I keep trying to get three stars. And it now that the event's winding down, there isn't really much time, so I have to, like, keep trying to push. So if we take a look at my profile here, um, yeah, so I'm on my cur current trophy high, 1,911. And I really don't think it's possible for me to get to Legend League because it's just so difficult to attack using this strategy. Um, I don't have a builder open for a little while, so let's get rid of the progress base here. I just literally changed my Town Hall 12 base just to put in the scatter shot. So this base might still be kind of ass, but uh, I don't really care that much on this account. But another thing I wanted to show off is the achievements that I get because I have been grinding this account and I guess I've been doing significant progress. So destroy 40 scatter shots completed, only using wall breakers, keep in mind. And there's 150 beans right there. And then destroy 2,000 town halls in multiplayer battles. That's kind of cool how I have that one done. Now that's 1,000 XP that I'm going to claim. Um, I think it just went to level 152, or it did right off camera before I got to this. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of cool. I have 5,792 gems. I kind of just save up the gems on this account because I don't really buy books of heroes. Like, I don't really care how slow my progress is. Uh, but another thing I want to show off is I did want to show my war attacks. I have been pretty successful in war with this account um, with my addition of the Royal Champion. So the Royal Champion finished for this, this attack, and I... Uh, well, the Royal Champion is upgrading, and you know how it goes when you get to Town Hall 13. I know I, I don't really think I've really covered it on this channel, because uh, some of the first episodes that I've done were when I was, like, kind of later in Town Hall 13. Like, if you want to look back at the... F I love watching the first episode on my channel. I think it's kind of cool. It was, like, a base update, and you see I'm, like, Town Hall 13, like, not quite max level walls. It's like, I've come so far, and my second account is almost as good as that one was back then. Um... I forget what I was even talking about. I got a little distracted talking about my old account. Oh, yeah, right. The Royal Champion. So it's level 8 right now, and uh, it's always something when you get a new hero. And this is, like, the last time you get a new hero in the game. Who knows? They might be adding a fifth hero in the future. It's not really confirmed or anything. Um, but the initial Royal Champion upgrades only take, like, a, like two hours, five hours, six hours. Now I think it's uh, it might be, like, in the days now, but... That's not really much of an issue. It's still kind of working out with war to uh, have her up and everything. Um, I think the war before this one, I didn't have the Royal Champion up. And um, 
I time failed. So that's the main thing is like I separate the king and the queen here. I do the classic super wizard bomb, take out the town hall eagle. That's what you gotta do with this account. And then I go in with the king and queen. So the queen can just sustain with her healers up there. And the king I try to tank with the wall breakers and everything. And like it's kind of risky. Like sometimes I'll be able to like have the king survive long enough. So he's sustaining a lot of damage here, but the royal champion just helps out so much. It's just that clean up of the defenses that the king just like can't do and she's just going in here i'm trying to tank with some wall breakers but at this point like with the royal champion like even though she's low level i still do have like okay level on her equipment so like you just know she's gonna be able to power through with her ability here maybe i'll pop it um and it's just an easy three star with the royal champion without the royal champion this would be a very difficult three star i think i would probably time fail um, but yeah, the main thing is like, I kind of, now with like the Royal Champion and everything, like I just have like a shit ton of wall breakers left over and <laughs> at the end of attacks, like I have 46 right now and like, I'm not really going to use them. There's, there's like no point. I use the wall breakers to just tank for the, um, for the king. And then like, when I know that the king doesn't really need any more tanking for the rest of the attack, I'm kind of good. So this is kind of an impressive base. This is a maxed out Town Hall 11 that is probably just a new Town Hall 12, but it's kind of cool that I can attack this base pretty easily with this, uh, with my new, like, offense right now. So, once again, I go in with the Super Bomb, the Super Wizard Bomb, and, uh, I know on my, all my other accounts I go in with Super Archer Bomb, but, uh, I don't like to do it on this account, I think I've said this multiple times, because, um, Super Archers take too long, and, uh, the main thing is just time fail. Like, I have more than enough power, especially, like, with the Queen, with her healer puppet, which I honestly do think that is the best equipment in this game. Um, you literally get to do a queen walk for absolutely, like, free. What, just, like, sacrificing the archer puppet? So, I, I have seen, like, I don't know if it was in my comments or the clan chat or someone, something. Someone was like, is the giant arrow, like, actually good? And I'm like, now that I think about it, it kind of isn't. Um... The only reason I use it on my main account and this account is literally for farming for Dark Elixir. I think it is the best thing that ever happened to farming if you're not going to waste on Super Goblins because you can just shoot that arrow right through that Dark Elixir storage and be chilling. Um, but on offense, like, it probably is the best for this account because the main thing, like I said, is time. And you might be thinking, like, oh, maybe put on Frozen Arrow or Archer Puppet so the Queen's base damage is higher. And that might be a good point, but if the queen's base damage hi is higher, like, how many more buildings is she really going to get through, like, faster? Like, maybe when she reaches, like, this point, it's, like, 10 seconds sooner. And, like, 10 seconds might make the difference, but imagine if I could shoot the giant arrow through this entire chain. You know how many buildings there are here? That's, like, six, that's, like, 15 buildings, and all these are one-shottable. So the giant arrow, I think, is just significantly better for timing on this account and on my main account like I use it because it's great for farming and especially what I'm doing with like the trophy dropping and stuff but on my other accounts Franco 2 and Franco 3 that I use for all offense I also did the giant arrow but now that I think of like I just did it because I wanted to stay consistent across my accounts with what equipment I use um, but now that I think about it it probably isn't even worth it I actually think the best equipments I still think the healer puppet but I'm starting to think all the epic equipments are the best equipments Apart from the Warden, which is the Fireball, um, on regular accounts and everything, I don't think it's worth it. But on this account, that is another thing I want to talk about, is the Warden equipment, I think, is probably going to be the move. So if we take a look over at my, what was the Seekin' Shield, all right, three star, easy, uh, pretty close to my mirror too, 22 to 30. If we take a look over at my uh, workshop, what is this called, Blacksmith here, um, I do actually have the Fireball on the Warden, and my logic is the same as the Queen Giant Arrow. I can get significantly more value out of this fireball compared to, uh, like, just a tome. Like, because the tome, what, I use wall breakers, what's it going to do? Protect my heroes for seven seconds? That doesn't really matter too much. And the life gem, same thing. Like, what, add some more tanking for the wall breakers? Like, it's not really used like that. And the rage gem? Okay, so the healing tome, same thing as the eternal tome. Like, you just get minimal value, especially using wall breakers on this account. But I think the Rage Gem is better than the Life Gem because, like I said, like, the extra, um, so if you look at this, the HP percent is like 70, but 70, so 70% of the King's HP, I don't even know how you, you can't view it in the equipment screen, 70% of the King's HP 
is a lot. Like 4,000, like 5,000, but it caps out. If you don't know this, the life gem caps out at a certain HP, so it caps out at 500. So the HP gain that I get for heroes is actually so minimal, and that's majority where I use the warden on this count. So I was like, hey, this might actually be the one scenario where the fireball is actually the best equipment for the warden. So on this account, it might be debatable that the all the epics are the best, but I'm still keeping the giant arrow. Oh no, not on this count. Giant arrow is the best on this count. But on other accounts, I think the all the epics minus the fireball are the best, but on this one, I think I am going to start rocking the fireball. I'm not upgrading them yet because I do kind of just want to max out like the rage vial, and I know for sure the giant gauntlet all across the board, any attack strategy is the best for the king, so I might just keep upgrading that, and my warden's constantly down until he's going to hit level 50 maxed out, so there's no really point in upgrading his equipment right now. Same with the royal champion, she's constantly down, so I'm not upgrading the... Um, seeking shield or royal gem. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think I can get I'm not really sure if you can get hog puppet or haste file at town hall 13, but I figured let's um Do I have my shred? Oh, yeah, my army's all trained up and everything um, Let's go in and try to finish off my star bonus here so I can show how I do my attacks And yeah, so I just attacked the very first guy I see uh, and this is perfect The town hall is upgrading so it won't be that much of a factor because the town hall does tend to fry my healers um, so let's just try to get my queen to advance into the eagle artillery so that we can um, start dropping more wall breakers because uh, how it works is once you drop a certain number of troops, the eagle artillery activates, everybody knows that. Um, but with wall breakers, say I drop all, like, whatever that certain number of spells and heroes and stuff, eagle artillery activates, it's not going to target wall breakers, it targets my heroes. So it just kills its attack strategy, and I calculated it out that... Um, once I drop one, so once I have 100 wall breakers remaining, and I've dropped all my spells, all my heroes, that uh, that last wall breaker to hit it to 99 will actually trip the eagle artillery, which is kind of cool how it's such an even number. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I got to keep in mind. But now I don't. Now I can just keep spamming in the wall breakers. Hopefully save the queen's health a little bit. Um, uh, I don't really know where I can even save the queen's health. Maybe that scatter shot or something. I'm gonna drop in. Oh, the king's already up top there. Uh, hopefully, the queen can just take out the town hall. So yeah, the scatter shot is now locked onto the queen. I'm gonna have to drop a rage. To hopefully, rage up the healers. Might even have to do an in invis too. This is such a heavy queen charge here. Uh, but what are you gonna do? So, queen took out the town hall. Now, if the queen dies, I'm not too upset. And a lot of times, what I have been messing with is just cloning the healers back here um, for some extra healing. And also, the healers are under fire from that multi infer there is a lot of multitasking on this attack and honestly with all the attacks that i've been doing so we hit the 50 percent mark the king is gonna die out and realistically we're not gonna get the three star it's probably well not probably it's impossible at this point so usually i would end the battle here but uh we can just keep it going for the rest of this video here um i do have two invisibility spells uh realistically Okay, so the healer died. I still have two remaining, so the cl cloned healers have gone down. The clone spell I can also use on wall breakers. So, like, right now I would, like, drop it on top of this cannon, and it would keep cloning the wall breakers around that uh, single inferno. So it almost asks, like, a skeleton spell, which is kind of a cool niche scenario. But um, a lot of times just the cloned healers helps a little bit more. So we'll have to invis the queen. I don't even know if we're going to be able to make it through the single inferno, honestly. There's not too much further that we can go here. Um, and I don't drop clan castle troops in regular battles because I have the super wizards trained up. And I feel bad requesting, like, dark elixir, or, sorry, super troops, like, constantly. Like, I just think it's kind of, like, greedy. Um, so I never really request them unless it's for war. So I don't like to drop that. Uh, sometimes I will just drop it for this extra loot here. So that's what I'll do to take out this storage or maybe get a blast on the storage. Which I'm not going to because that black air map was coming in. I don't want my troops to accidentally pop out. But yeah, there we go. An easy 79%. Uh, two star. We finish off the star bonus. Get such shitty amount of ores. 16 glowy ores. 350 shiny ores. How many more do we need? We need like 350 more. That's just a ridiculous amount, but yeah, I mean, can't complain too much. This account literally only uses all wall breakers, so it's not that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, so that's my new uh, trophy high here, 1,929. Um, 
kind of cool. And uh, a lot of times what I do with this account is I just request the spells and the siege machine and then donate it on my main account just to like buff up my siege terror stat and everything. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.